Hey guys, it's Rachel with Mr. Nola's Glitter. How y'all doing today? So this is almost like three days in a row if you think about it, like we did Thursday, Friday, and now it's Monday. So I see a few of you are already here waiting. That's super exciting. So hopefully you fared well um, this past weekend down south here. We were dealing with um, Tropical Storm, Hurricane, Crystal Bowl or something like that. I thought they said crystal ball or crystal bowl or I don't know it was a silly name but um, we um, we had a little bit of rain a little bit of wind but nothing nothing out of the ordinary or what whatever so um, hey guys whoop whoop yes um, so it is Monday I don't know what time it is at all it's like three o'clock here so perfect time so I wanted to show you guys um, first of all for you that joined me last week last Friday we did our little pineapple so for those of you that are not on Facebook um, this is how my pineapple came out um, I'm not I don't know if I'm a hundred percent sold on the top I think it's cute it works its purpose I'm gonna do a little um, saying on the side or whatever but I mean it looks pretty much like a pineapple versus like I don't know how else you can get it to be a pineapple unless you took your top and maybe you made little leafy things on your straw or something like that but I think I was pretty pretty okay with this um, hey Jill hey Jerry hey Diane Roxy hi um, yeah so um so there was the pineapple from last friday so i'm okay with that so today we are going to um i'm going to show you how to use i'm going to show you the double-sided sticky tape again because i know you guys have it and um i want you guys to know that you can do more than just stripes with it so people are like eh, stripes i've already done the stripes i'm good or whatever so I showed you how to use it for scales. So that's an easy way to um, get those dragon cups, pineapple cups, fish scales, whatever way, mermaid scales, whatever whatever you guys can think of. Um, easy way to get those on your cups. We know we've done it with the stripes when we do the, um, I don't have any of them laying around, when we do the mosaics. So um, I wanted to show you guys um, Oh yeah, try um, pineapple straw topper. We are going to do, I'm gonna show you guys how to do a brick pattern. So this is one I did this morning. Gotta love that quick set because I did this this morning and epoxied it and I could do a decal and do final layer. So um, this is rainbow ombre on, um, I used the big piece. This is the one inch. So um, this is what we're gonna be using. So I have my 30 ounce, my 30 ounce skinny, okay. Um, I have my um, one inch, the biggest roll of your double-sided sticky tape. I cut my whole entire roll because I'm lazy and I wanted to make sure that all of them were cut the same size. So I just cut my first one and then if you notice, I just cut the whole roll. So I took my, um, Hey, Mr. Nola, um, I took my X-Acto knife, wherever I put it. There's Mr. Nola, there he is. Um, and I cut the whole roll of um, the little squares that I thought that I needed. Um, there's no rhyme or reason. They're about an inch and a half long. You can make them as big or um, as little as you want. There's no rules here. Um, there, um, you can use the bigger tape or the, I mean, this is the biggest one that comes in the pack, or you can use the smaller one if you want smaller, um, bricks, but this is, this is how, this is what I used for this. So, um, I thought when I seen this yellow on here, I was like, oh, that would be a cool yellow brick road. So we are going to create a yellow brick road on this one. So I found a sassy little quote that I'm going to put on when I finish it. Um, and let me just make sure I have my handy dandy weeding pen because we're going to need that. Um, let me see what they did with my X-Acto knife. 
I'm trying to look over there without being all up in y'all's grill. So here's my X-Acto knife. Hey, 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 hey. Hi, Kathy, how are you? All right, so um, the double-sided sticky tape, I'm gonna, I'm gonna point you down so you can see what I'm doing without like um, cutting myself here or cutting my finger off. My camera's kind of wobbly, I need to look at that. So I, I measured these, so what I did is I took my whole roll, now you, you might not wanna do that, whatever, um, and then I just, cut all of my pieces down so I can just peel them off as I needed it. I measured them before, so that's why I already know where to cut, but you just figure out what size you want your bricks, right? And then um, you don't have to cut your whole roll if you don't wanna cut your whole roll. You could just cut each individual one if you want, whichever is easier for you. This is easier for me. And we know that there's no rules here. It's whatever works for you. Right? So I'm just making sure I have plenty of them cut so we don't have to stop. It shouldn't take that long. I should have maybe done half of them so you wouldn't have to watch me lay the things down. But seriously, it doesn't really take that long. So it should be all right. We could, spend, we could spend about another hour together. How about that? Everybody got plans? Yep. Kathy, I'll have you making cups before you know it. All right, so my cup here is a 30 ounce skinny. It, had been, it has been primed. Um, it has been sanded and primed. My little sanding blocks here. I sand all the shiny part off, wipe it with alcohol, spray it with a white primer. Um, I like to normally, this cup was spray painted today. I like to usually let them um, set and marinate, dry, whatever, cure for a few, um, a few days. But um, I thought I had another one, but clearly I did not. I will be using two different glitters today. I'll be using Happiness from the Less Bitter More Glitter Collection and Oz. Um, both of them are a gold. Uh, one is a darker gold, one is a lighter gold. So I figured the two golds will give us some contrast in our yellow brick road. I will be using pinata um, black. Uh, we're going to ink in between our bricks to give it that contrast. This one was done with um, the um, shadow gray, which is a lighter gray. So it's kind of like a smoky look. That's what it looks like. So I want a little bit darker in between my, um, my yellow brick. So I'm gonna go ahead and use the black. Um, it is, this is the one inch tape and each of the squares are about one and a half inches wide. <laughs> yeah, so it's one and a half inches wide. Hey, Dorley. And this is the biggest tape in the pack, which is a, um, the one inch tape, right? All right, so um, I am going to use my little, um, my little weeding pin. And all I'm gonna do is, you guys can see my hands are stained from whatever. So I'm just lifting this corner I'm peeling off my first square. I want y'all to remember bricks are not perfect. They're not perfectly spaced. So I leave a little bit of, um, a little space at the top right here, which gives it like the finished look, like it's the top of the brick a little bit today. Okay, no big deal. And that is the hardest part is cutting your tape. That is it. Um, then you're just going to continue to lay your bricks. Your bricks. I eyeball it. I don't, I don't measure perfectly because bricks are not perfect. And then I will just follow this all the way around. Let's use this to stop it. Um, well, I say that. And then I'm just using my little pokey thing here to peel off my next brick. 
I'm leaving a space in between my bricks because I'm gonna ink here. So I want a space in between so it's gonna give me that contrast, right? We've got, we got some customers out in the store. I don't know if Melissa's here, but I feel like I need to remind her that every time the doorbell rings, it's not, it is our front door and not her front door. Yes, I wanna show you, I'm gonna try to show you as many ways you can use this tape as possible. Because, um, one, I love it. And two, you know, everybody's like, well, I don't, I, I can do my stripes a different way or, or whatever, but I want to show you how versatile the tape is. Of course, you can use it any way you would do any other, any other sort. Every once in a while, look, I'm going to show you this. Every once in a while, that double side sticks to the bottom because it's not cut. I don't use that one because it gives this little bubble. So I have a little, a little reject stack over here that I just put that one on but I just want to show you that there is more than one thing that you can do with this tape so it is a versatile little um, product to have in your arsenal I'm laying that down This is seriously the longest part to do this cup is laying your tape bricks down. Again, don't worry about perfectly straight or perfectly spaced because I, you will very seldomly find a perfectly straight brick or perfectly spaced bricks in nature. When you see bricks in nature, I'm not sure if that's nature. I don't know if I'm sh if I should have said nature, but yeah. Um, honey, I don't use Mod Podge for my glitter, um, so I can't really give you a lot of tips. I would much rather use epoxy for, um, oops, okay, so that one, so you see how this, this one is a little smaller, so I have one little section here that I made smaller. I just didn't notice that I was there, so I'm going to try to keep this one stuck on my finger. That top one is the only one that you'll really have, this smaller brick. So I'll just cut it to fit whatever. And then I'm gonna take the next one, and normally with bricks, they're about halfway in between each one. So I just scoot it over and start doing that alternating pattern. Yep, this is double-sided sticky tape. So honey, you said you're having a problem, you're having trouble using Mod Podge to lay your glitter. Are you using Mod Podge um, to adhere your glitter as your base coat? Is that what you're doing? Because we can teach you a trick and you'll throw that Mod Podge away for that. That's my personal preference. So the stained glass, you do, you could use epoxy for as well. You're gonna get a better coverage if you do that. Um, I think you'll like it a lot better. So to cut my tape, I measured it and then I just cut the whole roll. So this will be my brick tape. So I just took my X-Acto knife, I measured where I needed it what size I needed it, and I just cut it, cut the whole roll. Now you might not wanna do this since if you only have one roll and you don't know if you're gonna have a brick roll, but this is gonna be my brick roll. So these are already be cut for this size cup. There's probably an easier way to do this, but that's how I did it. A lot of people use that spray adhesive. I ha I don't nor I haven't had really good luck with it. I think you just find you find what works with for you. 
and you make it your technique. If the spray adhesive, try spray adhesive if you would rather try that before you try the epoxy. I end up spray adhesing all of my um, hair on my arms. I am, I am really good at, at doing that. I think because I just haven't used the spray adhesive a lot, I just don't, I don't know how, um, it's not comfortable to me. So I guess if I, if it was something that I perfected, I probably could use it. I make such a mess with it though, for sure. The devil's glue, ugh, the devil's glue. Mod Podge. Yeah, I call it the devil's glue. It's good for a lot of things. I just can't stand it for cups. It's good like if you're adding, adding designs in spots, but like to, to um, glitter a cup, there's so many different better ways that's more comfortable to me. Um, than Mod Podge. Mod Podge dries really fast and I live down in the south where um, it's hot here anyway and so Mod Podge, I, I can't control Mod Podge. I have some friends that are Mod Podge wizards though. They can do, you, you would see some of their work and you would never guess that they use Mod Podge as their, as their base coat. You're like, how in the world? You are a wizard. You are definitely a wizard. So I have a little, a couple little extra pieces here from, um, yep, yeah, so don't do that. You're going to totally scratch your cup. Don't do that. We have one little spot right here. So this, the, even though this is a skinny cup, the top of it is a little bit bigger than the bottom. So the only the first two rows, you're going to have this little baby, this little baby brick. After that, they all just, they all fit together pretty well. Your baby brick. And again, just eyeballing it. Some of them might be closer together. Some of them might be farther apart. Um, so it's a brick. I just feel like I get the an even coverage. I get even coverage with the epoxy method. Oops, that one is a no-go because this one came off. This is my little defunct pile over here. These weeding tools are such a big help for so many things. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, I can make it work. I can make it work. Try not to stick your finger in it. I'll make it. I'll make it work. I'll make it work. I'll make it work. Um, you can. So you can do one of two things, honey. You can just mix a teeny bit at a time and let it set up to where it's thick, a little thicker, and then you can just paint it on, just like you would Mod Podge. So once it's thick, it's not gonna run so much. You just need just enough for your, um, for your glitter to stick to your cup. So it's essentially almost like using Mod Podge, but it's just epoxy and um, you'll get a, you'll get a de you'll get a decent coverage with it. You'll get de a decent coverage, you'll get decent coverage. So that's how, um, or you can use um, UV, you could use UV epoxy, like you would um, UV resin, excuse me, it's not epoxy, it's called UV resin. You can use um, that if you wanted to. Just hit it with your little UV light to set it up. You just want it set up just a little bit if that's something that you have. And you're gonna use so little of it, it's not good, like it's gonna be that expensive or anything. So I'm just cutting um, some more because my tape is sticking together. 
Hi, Nadine. Hi, Joanne. So we are creating an easy brick, glittered brick um, look with double-sided sticky tape and alcohol ink is what we're doing. And I'm just cutting, this will be my, this, this is my roll of um, brick tape so I'm just cutting my whole roll you wouldn't have you wouldn't do this if unless you wanted to or if you had another roll um, so I'm just making sure that my all of my little pieces are cut so I can just keep going instead of stopping I think that's it yeah hi Robin hi Claudia hi Linda hi Kelly um, so I just when I lay it down um, if you're using something pointy try not to touch it with your fingers at all if you can because the oil will get under that um, so you'll see even on here some of my corners um, were not so perfect but it all but it get like so this one right here you will notice that that corner folded in but to me personally like if you're doing a brick pattern it, it gives it um, it gives it character so I just breathe in breathe out I'm going to show you guys if you're doing a double-sided sticky tape technique you would you really want to start if you're doing more than one color you really want to start with your darkest color first that way um, the dark glitter doesn't dirty up or muddy up your lighter it is not recorded, but it will be re-recorded. I'm gonna say, we're, we're live right now, but it will be saved so y'all can go back and watch. What you eating, Mr. Nola? You having a snack? A snack. A snack. What are you doing? I am trying not to stick my fingers to all this tape here, and I'm going to make a yellow brick road tumbler. So that's going to be a little... Okay. Yep. But that's okay, because we're not going for... Hi, Mila. Um, mugs, I'm afraid to use epoxy, but have but having problems with um so um linda you said you're very new and you're having problems with the mod podge but you're scared to use the epoxy um once you use the epoxy method to to put to apply your glitter you'll never go back yeah so the key is um is to use just a tiny bit of epoxy for your epoxy for your the epoxy method so i am going to stretch this over here i'm going to have a little bit of space right there i might fill that in but i didn't like the way that was lining up and this one might be a little longer here um, so what i like to do is when i'm doing the epoxy method is i'll put I'll cover my cup with epoxy and then I'll take one of the um, the squeegee tools that we have uh, it's called a water slide squeegee um, and then I will squeegee the rest of the epoxy off of the cup so you only have just a teeny tiny bit yeah if my podge is giving you an issue try to use try to use the spray adhesive and see if that if you have better results with that sometimes you have to do two coats but that's okay um it's still it's still better than the to the devil's glue i just feel like the devil's glue mod podge dries so fast um it you can't get a really good um you can't get a really good layer on it before it's dry and um, your colors don't blend sometimes so like if you're doing an ombre or something it's really hard with Mod Podge if unless you're super quick
But once you find a method that works for you um, and you stick to it, you perfect it, then you, you'll be more inclined to try different methods. But if definitely if Mod Podge is not working for you, um, find something that, try the other two first. Because I don't want you to dis be discouraged making cups. So we're just keeping on, keeping on. I'm trying to hurry so we can get to the next stage. I know um, this this stage is kind of boring. So boring. Oops. Try not to bore y'all. So we're gonna stretch that just a little bit. Bricks are not perfect, guys. And if you're looking for a perfect technique, ooh, you can't find it here. I'm so go with the flow, and if it messes up, I'm like, well, let's do that again. Oh, crap. Like that. This one I'm going to pay for, I do believe. Stick that under there. That stuck directly to my finger. Didn't want as in syringes. You can do it. You can do it. Dang it. All right, so I'm going to put that to the side. My fingers are yucky. Hey, Tamara. Tamara. Oh, thank you. Um, let's see here. Is that stuck on there? Oh, Mr. Nola's on business call. messed up a little bit so I don't have a lot of room in between that one but that's okay I'm gonna put my decal there that's all right we can recover we can recover we can keep on going exactly yeah I, I try not to stress creating because um, it's the creating part that I like the most. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't stick to my fingers. This is... <gasps> uh, it keeps sticking to my fingers really bad. It didn't do that earlier. Oh, what is What is the deal, Pickle? It is so... That's the good thing about our tape is it's super, stu super sticky. Um, so the glitter sticks to it really good. Hey, Kayla. Oh, Tina, that sounds good. Did you use tape or did you, um, did you paint it? super sticky yep my philosophy is if you want the same exact thing as you see on t on from that other cup I can't do it because I can't create two things the same Let's see if I can put this down without touching it there we go yeah I need to find, there's the alcohol. I lost my little pch -pch 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 thing. I have one for the acetone, but I thought I had one for alcohol too, but I don't know where it went. 
Hi, Teresa. Hi, Edith from Baton Rouge. Okay, so maybe that'll work. So y'all ready for, I don't know, vacation or something? Something that's not COVID or storms or something? Oh, painters and washi tape. That's a good idea. So that's how I created, um, that's what I did for the um, Kraken cup. I bet you you can do the Kraken cup with this as well. So you would be able, you could have, um, you could have glitter planks. So you could do essentially a Kraken cup and these could be, you can make them longer and use a different size. And then you could have um, glittered planks. Wouldn't that be cool? With your cracking coming up. Hi, Jessica from Tennessee. We're getting there, guys. Oh, my word. This is going to make me say a cuss word. Hi, Lena. Yeah, I'm, I very seldom am able to recreate the same cup twice. Um, when I was a cup maker before, before we um, started Mr. Nola's Glitter, um, I would have problems because people, I would make a cup and I'd be so proud of the cup and then somebody would be like, I want four just like that. And I would be like, oh, do you really want four just like this? Just like this? White water slide. Question. Um, white water slide, would you use that instead of the clear? And how do you get the image cut out? Um, Angie, you would have to do print and cut with white water slide. And if you are thinking... If you're looking at um, trying to figure out what color water slide to use, you have to remember white is not there's not white is not ink. So if you have white in your image, it's going to be clear. So you would need a white water slide. Oh, have fun! Go have fun camping. Mr. Nola and I, um, next week is my birthday, which I can't believe. I, um, I can't believe this whole month is, um, this is halfway over. Somebody's like, oh yeah, your birthday's next week. And I was like, no, it's not. It's like the beginning of June. And I'm like, it's like June 9th. Um, so my birthday is the 16th. So we don't have anything too much planned. We were supposed to be in the middle of GlitterCon so um, we are not, but I have some really special friends that kept their tickets, so they are going to still fly here, um, and we are hopefully going to be able to work on the GlitterCon swag bags for everyone. Thank you. So it is my birthday month. So my birthday's not to the 16th, though, but um, normally I celebrate the whole month. I don't know what I'm doing. I must be sleeping. Um, I can't believe it's June though. Um, this I, we started all this COVID disaster stuff in March, and I was like, "Oh yeah, it'll be gone by June." Like, what are we worried about? Here it is, June, and we're like, "Is it really gone? Is it really gone?" <laughs> so, um, but I'm right. I'm I'm ready to do something that's not. Um, being indoors so we have a vacation scheduled for September for our anniversary but at the end of September we're taking our whole crew which is everyone um, everyone that um, works for us we're taking them on a vacation with us so we will close our shop 
which is nerve wracking. At the end of September, we'll close it for a week and we're taking everybody on vacation that works here. Our crew works super mega hard and um, we are rewarding them with a vacation. So, um, I'm super excited. Yes, so we, um, GlitterCon will be a virtual event this year. Um, but next year, watch out. I have learned so much about the planning and prepping for an event that size. And um, next year, it's going to be, it's going to be on. And I'm going to hug a lot of necks. Yeah, so I'm super excited. I'm, I'm excited about um, taking them and um, treating them for working so so hard and being so loyal to us. We have um, a lot of family that works here, but you know, blood doesn't make you family. I don't know if that's that's how I feel about it. I have family, but I also have family, which are friends 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 that are family. So we call them family. So blood doesn't necessarily make you family, but we have we we at Mr. Nola's we are definitely a family a family business. So I'm excited about spending some some time in the sun with my family. Um no, um D because um even though it is a um, a virtual event, there are physical swag bags that will be mailed out. So that was the whole draw of GlitterCon was the products that you were gonna get and the things that you were gonna get to make. So there is, um, we might, there might be some people that are selling their tickets now, um, but as far as being just tickets for the virtual event, no. Um, the only way to get tickets is if you had tickets to the actual event, which will get you a swag bag mailed, and then you will get all the products and all the supplies that you need to create the um, the, pro the projects that we had planned for GlitterCon, which um, inadvertently was only going to be one tumbler. The rest is anything but um, tumblers. tumblers. I wanted, I wanted everyone, everyone to know, know that you could do just about anything with glitter. Yep, I, I love, love my family. family. So at the end of September, we will, we will all get on out of here and we will have a good vacation together and celebrate all their hard work this year. It'll definitely be, it'll definitely be a good time. I think that's what, I, that's what's holding us all together. We're like, oh, only X amount of days. I don't know how many days. Um, my hubs wanted to still go to NOLA this year with everything open, but like, nope, going to GlitterCon next year. I know we won't go to NOLA two years in a row, so nope. Yep, say, oh no, sorry. We can go somewhere else. Yeah, definitely, definitely. Next year is definitely going to be our year. Oh my gosh, it's still sticking to my finger. It's really ticking me off. Um, Patricia, yes. Um, yes, family is very important, Kathy. Um, Patri Miss Patricia, yeah, I think that I started a thread in, in um, the, the Facebook group. That, I, that for people that are looking for tickets and people that wanted to sell tickets. So go check out that, that post. And um, I know that there was one ticket for sale. Um, it might have been already picked up, but I know that there was one in there. But I did it in a central place so there wasn't like a bunch of posts. So um, go put your follow dot or whatever. Um, on that post so that way you can keep an eye on whenever um, someone else puts their ticket up if they if they do oh don't do that you scratch your cup did y'all see what I did 
Or why is it not? Oh, see, that's why I like to keep my cup. That's why that's another reason why I like my cups to be spray painted and set up for a couple days because you can you can manhandle it. You can manhandle it. You can um, you don't have to you don't have to like kid glove it without wor and worrying about it scratching. We're gonna we're gonna make it work though. Don't worry. Two more rows and then we can go on. <laughs> yes, that's what I use. Um, um, Amanda, they're these little. Oh, oh, this is what it looks like. This. So I get this at the Dollar Tree. Um, and you can put, I put, of course, this one has acetone in it, but, um, I have one for acetone and one for alcohol. So you don't, you could do it pretty much hands-free. You can, um, open it up and then you just push down with your paper towel or your, whatever you're using. Um, and so you can do it with one hand. I get these at the Dollar Tree. You can probably get them on Amazon too, if you don't want to get out, um, they're just a couple bucks. They're not they're not very expensive even if you get them off of Amazon. They're not that expensive. Hey girl, hey. I'm trying to use this pen instead of touching it the tape since it keeps getting stuck to my dang fingers. I didn't have that problem earlier. I don't know why it's giving me problems now. little bit more space at the bottom down here but that's okay I have made these a little spaced a little differently spaced than oh, that is two pieces then I did the first one but oh shoot I scratched it again Hi, Gianna. Yes, Gwen, this is our um, weeding pen. It is like the best thing to have in your toolbox. I suggest you buy two because you will lose one and you will go bonkers looking for it. So if you have two, you're less likely to lose both of them. Maybe. Don't judge me, Mr. Nola. I don't have 10 ish i don't have 10 ish i did not lose nine he's full of it he's funny he's got jokes mr nola's the jokester so let's see if this is gonna fit right here that's gonna be too small yeah it fits ish all right so we have one more one more one more Hey Megan, if you guys have nothing to do while you're watching this part, if you would give um, this video a thumbs up, and if you haven't already, subscribe to our channel, um, and then you can see, you can watch, then you can be alerted when we do these fun videos. So if you notice this, I am wrapping it around the bottom of this cup and I'm hating it so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to cut this and I'm gonna use a smaller yep so it's already got the sticky at the bottom so I'm gonna use a smaller tape here is it this one nope so I'm gonna doctor it because I don't want it to wrap it around I didn't have I didn't run into that problem with this one I think the spacing was a little easier or a little bit more precise so 
I just cut my tape a little smaller. We're gonna go with it. We're gonna go with it. We're gonna go with it. This will work. What you cooking for dinner, Gwen? There we go, perfect. Exact size, eh. ish, ish. Oh, thank you, Ginger. We're about to get into some fun stuff besides just laying the tape down. I promise fun stuff is coming. Glitter and inks, oh my. Okay. I don't know what we're oh I think we're having tacos for dinner tonight so um, if you've been following us you know our house is in a little bit disarray so um, this weekend they finished the AC I just scratched it again son of a mother loving um, they finished the AC but everything is so is so still there's no walls they um, I think they might have been working on sheetrock today, maybe. We'll see. Um, but everything is so dirty. So they've had to, they've literally cut everything out of the ceiling, the floors, everything. So there's like that um, construction dust everywhere. So I'm going to do a quick wipe down of the kitchen. We need to um, stop. Oh, this one's messed up. Stop eating out so much. So I think we're going to have tacos. Is that what you're cooking me, Mr. Nola's tacos? And suddenly he doesn't have an answer. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, you could use the smaller tape. I just, um, this one worked. You could definitely use the smaller size tape. And voila. All right, so see, not perfect not anywhere near perfect. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna use my, don't use your fingernails because you're gonna scratch the paint off, but I'm just gonna use my finger and just make sure all of my tape edges are rubbed down onto my cup. You wanna make sure that that adhesive is stuck in there because we're fixing to, um, the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna ink the white. So we're gonna create the shadow in between our bricks, okay? So I'm gonna put up that, all the pokey things. Ooh, barbecue ribs, that sounds good. All right, so we have, I don't know where the paper is. We sell this in our little store. It's the little dabbery do thing. I don't know what it's called, dabber do. Um, it's by Tim Holtz, it's a dabby thingy. Okay. Man, y'all are making me hungry. Yeah, so this is the little dabber thingy madoodle, right? I'm going to take the um, pinata black. Yes, I want a plate of all of those things. They, we are having um, pork chops and barbecue ribs and yes, please. So I just take my little dabber do, whatever it is. And dabba do. So if you notice, the 
ink is not sticking to the back of the tape because the tape is waxed. So this is one of the reasons why I love this tape because um, it really, it doesn't stick to itself. So if you need to layer it or if you're trying to um, do some sort of technique, the tape is not going to, it's not going to stick to each other or the vinyl is not going to stick to it whenever you do, um, if you do like clear cast or something over the top of the tape. So you don't have to worry about that. So all I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna ink. I'm inking in between. I'm just gonna add a little bit more ink. And I'm just gonna, um, I'm just gonna dabby dabby do all over this cup. And I'm creating my, um, whatever the stuff is, the mortar, the, the concrete, the whatever is in between bricks but if you look if you look I'm trying gonna make this look like a yellow brick road so I looked up some pictures of the yellow brick road and it looks like it's like a dark black shadow between the bricks so that's why I picked the black I think I'm gonna like the contrast with the black in between my bricks my gold bricks I used the shot I used the um, sh what did I used shadow gray on the rainbow one you don't have to have a dab or do if you don't have a dab or do um, you could um, you could use whatever you use to apply your alcohol inks you can use a q-tip you can use whatever um, so all the products that I've, I've, I've used in this video will be linked below. If I missed anything, um, I'll go back and make sure to add it. Um, this is our double-sided sticky tape. We carry it in our store and um, at MrNolasGlitter.com. And you get, this is the pack that it comes in. It comes in a big roll, kind of looks like toilet paper, um, but you get all of these rolls. And I use this bigger roll, this the the one inch roll, um, in in this project. So just gonna dabba 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 dabba. I want to make sure that each one of these lines are inked. Okay. Yes. Um, do white, and you have a Pink Floyd cup. Yep. The grout, that's what it's called, the grout. So just, we're gonna keep dab -doo in between. I think I'm, I think I'm going to really like this dark contrast between um, the yellow bricks. So some of them are bigger than others, just like bricks. looking really close to make sure I didn't miss. I don't have any white spots in between my bricks. I missed a couple spots up here. A little down here. A little dabba dabba. Dabba dabba. Yes, you can use you can use anything that you have. Um, I have people that use makeup. I have makeup sponges. Sometimes they use makeup sponges, uh, but I really wanted a dabba, so I made Mr. Nola get me a dabba. So don't forget your bottom. 
Oh, I'm off camera. Sorry about that. There we go. I think all of my spots have been dabbed. Oh, Nancy, I can't wait to see your tie-dye. Oh, Kristen, yes, that, that cake is like, mm, mm, mm. So there are my, there are my um, shadows or my colors between my yellow brick road. So now, now that my paper is all mucked up, we're going to yellow brick road it. So I'm going to put my little dabber to side, my dabba dabba aside. Um, Georgia, at this time, we do not have a discount code. But if it's your first time ordering, leave us a message. We love to leave love notes on on um, on people that um, are ordering for the first time. Let us know how you heard about us. We love that. All right. So I have happiness and I have Oz. So Oz is a little darker than happiness. So I think I'm going. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to lightly sprinkle Oz because it's darker and then I'm going to go over the top of it with a happiness. All right, so you can do this if you were doing, so like if you were doing this one and you were gonna do it in different colors, I usually pull off the whatever color I'm working with. So here, this one was red, so I pulled off all the red. I sprinkled the red. This one was all orange. I sprinkled the orange and then I pulled off this one and I ombre the two. So that's how I did, that's how I got this look. This look um, is going to be just, it's just going to be the yellow. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull two rows at a time. I don't wanna pull all of them just in case I have an issue. It's another reason this is a handy dandy tool. It really removes the backing from this double sided sticky tape with ease. You don't have to even worry about it because it's already sticking to your cup. You just use it on the corner and you peel it right up. So you notice I have some bleeding. Let's see if I can get you here down, maybe a little bit um, under here. I'm not gonna worry about that because the glitter is going to cover it for the most part. And if not, it's gonna give it character because you know, the Yellow Brick Road is a, um, it was a well-traveled road. So it's not perfectly paved at all. So that's okay. These are all gonna be things that are okay. Don't sweat it. You wanted to make that Pink Floyd cup, this would be a perfect thing. Take it all off and dump all um, dump all of the white glitter on it, and it would be really cool. All right, so the first two rows have been removed. So I'm gonna take Happiness, which is in the Less Bitter More Glitter collection, and um, yes, you can, Patty. It's on our website. I'll have the link below for that as well. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna I'm going to sprinkle from high. Let's see. Let's see if I can. I know when I start messing with you guys, you're like, whoa, Nelly. Whoa, Nelly. All right. So um, I'm gonna sprinkle from way up high and lightly sprinkle this happiness just lightly all right and then I'm gonna go back with the Oz and the uh, since the Oz is darker um, if you're careful it doesn't um, but this one did and I'm okay with that and then I'll go back with the Oz sprinkle a little bit more of the Oz
All right, and then I'll go back with this. And then this is where I'm gonna smoosh it into my tape. This thing's heavy. These big Lunkin' Cups are heavy. Don't worry about this at the bottom. I'm just gonna create my own mix with it. So I just rub it in. Essentially, you could have used a black cup and you would you didn't have to, you wouldn't have had to ink it. I clearly didn't think that far ahead. Um, and this was the cup I had and it was raining. So um, you could definitely skip this whole inking thing if you already had black tape, if you already had your cup spray painted black, you could just put your, um, your bricks on and glitter it and you'd be good to go. You would be one step ahead. So I'm just gonna take a little bit here. So I also have these big giant um, like painter's brushes. And after I have glittered, I lightly brush all of the excess. And there is our first layer of bricks. Easy peasy. You can do this in any color that you want to. So, just gonna go remove my next couple. And we're just going to repeat that same process. Oops. So the hardest part is literally just laying your your um, bricks down. So you can do this in any color combination that you want. So I'm sprinkling from way up high, just getting a little bit of this lighter happiness down. And then I'm going to go back in and sprinkle this over. And then go back with the happiness and lay it down I'm not really burnishing it in there I'm just making sure that it's stuck to all of that tape this tape is super sticky so I don't ne I never have a problem with the glitter laying um, into the tape it always helps if your base color um, matches the glitter that you're using you'll have less issues to see, to be able to see through the tape so this would be really good if it was already a black cup but I don't I, I just make it work all right so see I have an issue right here I don't know what the issue is so you see where this white is I'm not sure if there is a piece of no, nope. so it just needs to be, so I need a Q-tip. Let's see, I got a Q-tip. Phone's ringing. So I don't know, I don't know why, um, why that didn't, I must have missed the ink. So I'm going to take my Q-tip here, put a little bit of ink on it. And then I'm 
just gonna was I am I fixed it just a little I don't know what I don't know why it didn't um, there was my little corner too I don't I'm not sure why it didn't the ink didn't stick to it but that is what it is so if you see some spots like that you can definitely go back which I see on this row there's a lot of them I think is where the tape was um, was lifted or like wrinkly or whatever but easy way I'll go back and fix it at the end but you see right here I would just take my little q-tip and um, q-tip that up no big deal we're gonna fix it yep so you could do Pink Floyd the wall you could do um, you could do all kinds of stuff it's just a cool little pattern um, Amber was so mad when we figured this out when I showed her this this morning she hand painted oops she hand painted her mom a um, brick pattern for Christmas. Her mom loves the Cubs, and so she painted the brick. The the brick. She hand painted the brick for her mom's cup and painted the back. Put ivy on it for the Cubs baseball wall. So she was like, "Oh, now you figure that out." But yeah, so you can use, can you imagine just doing this regular brick and then um, if you if you can paint, hand paint flowers or ivy or just cut them out um, with your, um, oh that one already has the stuff off of it, or cut it out with your machine with some like holographic vinyl or whatever. So you really can do so much with this pattern. You can turn this into the Kraken. You can have the top part of your Kraken ship glittered instead of inked. If you're into glitter more than you are the ink, which I think I would probably like the glitter one better, my personal preference, you could totally do that. So you can have a glittered Kraken, do it the same exact way, but instead of doing the ink for the top, you can do the, um, you can do the um, slats and like brown glitter. So happiness, a little happiness, sprinkle a little happiness, lightly sprinkle the happiness. And then come back with the Oz. Alright, and then come back with that and I'm just smooshing it into my tape here yeah so you can actually you can make your spots longer so instead of being bricks you can turn them into wooden planks just use brown glitter and make like wooden planks you can use brown in between it so it's still the same concept except instead of ink you have you have glitter planks I mean everything's better with glitter even the Kraken right sunflower oh yeah sunflowers on top of a brick I mean just all of those ideas we're gonna fix those little white spots don't worry about that I'm not sure what happened, but so here we go. I'm actually going to pull all three of these at the bottom and do them at the same time. You can just do a regular pattern. You can use like smaller, smaller pieces of tape and do kind of like the shiplap um, pattern all over the cup and just do just a pattern and then put like your name on it. If just do all your fancy colors that you don't have to be brick or doesn't have to be um, to look like brick or whatever, just use it as um, a background pattern.
Just a little something to make you go, hmm. Oh, that's a good idea, Stephanie. Stephanie said a chimney for, um, uh, you could do a brick and make, uh, make it into a chimney for Christmas for Santa Claus. That would be cool. I love how I give you guys just a little idea and like you go all different ways with that. I love that. I cannot even wait to see what y'all create. I know it's going to be amazing. So you can have un um when you're glittering these you can un you can take them all off if you want to if that makes you happy i just wanted to make sure that it was going to work the way i wanted it to work so that's why i just pulled sections off yes i love this chimney idea with santa claus too so I'll just bring a little bit of happiness I like you put in salt just a little salt just a little salt and take this Oz, sprinkle this on the rest, and then I have a jar. I'm going to put this custom mix in. It'll be for something. Um, it'll be perfect for a honeybee or something. All right, and then take the happiness, and I'm going to smoosh it into my, make sure it's all smooshed down. I'm not so much burnishing it, just making sure that it's all smushed down into that tape so the tape is not exposed and every piece of tape has um, glitter. Oh, Stephanie, you're going to love it. I have two on my... Um, on my work table that I'm, I'm fixing to start doing. I have two ideas to do with another set of those. I just love that stuff so much and I love how beautiful the cups come out when I use it. So I had one little spot down here that my tape went around the bottom so I'm gonna have a weird weird area right here but now This brush is amazing for cleaning glitter when you're um, doing stripes or whatever. So you just, um, it doesn't remove the glitter from the tape, but it does get it off of places you don't want it so you can see what you're doing. So I'm gonna have to touch up with my alcohol inks, but it's no big deal. So let me move this. I don't have a container for this right now, but let me put it behind me. So I don't mess it up. Um, let's see, I'm gonna put it right here. All right. Um, I got them off of Amazon. It's a four inch um, chip brush. So I got a big box of them. So I keep them everywhere. I clean off my desk with them. They're perfect dusting everything. So um, I got a big box of them. Didn't they weren't that much? So um, now I have I have a couple little spots. So you know where those you know what those spots are. I'm gonna tell you those spots are, are scratched. It, I, I think. think. Maybe. Maybe. Yes, yes ma'am. I'm using double sided sticky, sticky tape. tape. So, so to, to touch up those spots, spots again, I'm using my little. I'm using just a Q-tip. Putting my ink on it and the little white spots that I see. Just gonna dab. Just to make sure there's no white sticking out and making it look wonkalicious or something. I had a few of them. If I would have been a little bit slower, maybe I could have avoided that. So just take your time when you're inking just to make sure that you have everything and you won't have to go you have everything totally inked and that way you don't have to go back and do this like I am 
but if not it's an easy fix easy breezy fix so I think that was it just a couple of spots oh and then down here at the bottom there were some so oops sorry off screen again all right so here we are this is our yellow brick road so as you can see there's different shapes um, different different widths in between the tape that bothers you take a little time measure it out a little better whichever one it's not gonna bother me um, I'm going to love it I do love it absolutely so the quote I wanted to tell you guys the quote that I picked to put on here I wanted to tell you because it's super cute um, is I'm going to put if you don't like the road you're walking start paving another one so that's a Dolly Parton quote but I didn't really want it to be um, directly um, yellow brick road because you know that's kind of copyrighted or whatever but I think that's a perfect I think it's a perfect little um, sassy quote if you don't like the road you're walking start paving a new one so here's our yellow brick road. Let me go back to wherever my comments are. Here we go. Yes, so a tip is um, um, paint your cup black first and then you don't have to do all of this, um, but it was hurricaning here. So I used what we had, which was a white cup. So if this was black, you wouldn't have to ink in between your um, your bricks or your spaces. Um, if you wanted a different color besides black, whatever. Uh, so that would save you a little time, and then you wouldn't have to worry about touching up or anything like that. Yes. Or use a black cup. Yeah. <laughs> Mr. Noel was like, black cup? I have a black cup. I have a black cup. Um, so, yes, you can get the double-sided sticky tape from MrNolasGlitter.com. Everything that I've used in this video will be linked in the description below. Hmm, my head was cocked out. Um, so, I've used the double-sided sticky tape. I use the Dabba Dabba Dabbas. I don't know what they're called. Um, a Dabba Dabba Dabba, yes. Um, I am going to use Aquanet Hairspray. Stop it before I punch you. Thank you, Mr. Nola. I use Aqua, stop. Um, Aquanet hairspray to seal my glitter before I put epoxy on. I'm going to break your fingers, stop it. Um, but you wouldn't really, stop it, seriously. <laughs> Anybody want a Mr. Nola? <laughs> All right. Chill out. Well, stop, I'm trying to talk business and you putting your finger in my nose. Um, it was itchy. So I just seal mine with Aquanet hairspray. It takes just a little spray, like a little couple sprays. You can seal it with clear spray paint if you want to. I use Aquanet. Some people will say I'm the devil. I'm good with that. I'm fine. Um, but I like to be able to spray it inside. Then I hit it with the heat gun to dry it, and then I put my epoxy. Um, yes, so there is a such thing as um, double-sided sticky tape sheets. So I do have a few to try. Um, I have never had, so there's a product called Silly Winks. Way back in the day, um, some people would use it. Um, you would use a kiss cut. You would cut out um, your, you would cut out a, with a kiss cut, like your design, and then you would put it on your cup, something like that. I failed at that. So um, I will go back and revisit it and see if I can not fail. Um, but yeah, so if, I, if I'm a big failure at something, I just let somebody else teach you guys that because like I failed, failed, failed. So, um, oh, Tabitha, yes, yes. Y'all, come on, y'all go ahead. He's not precious. He is not precious. He's a pain in my derriere sometimes. <laughs> so, um, this is, and so this is a finished brick, yellow brick road. Of course, it's not yellow. It's rainbow but it's pride month and rainbows are my favorite so the first one I did was rainbow and then this is the yellow brick um, and I'll finish it with a quote um, and I will post the the finished cup of this uh, and on our Instagram and on our Facebook group so if you haven't already come join us over there 
you like this video, give us a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and click on the bell. It'll let you know when we go live. Um, who knows what else we have coming out for you guys. Um, um, <laughs> Nancy. Nancy said, I have my own ass. I don't need an extra one. I'd lose my mind. <laughs> well, don't worry, Betty. You, you, looks like you won't be living with Nancy then. Uh, get out of here mr nola uh yes um anyway so thank you guys for hanging out with me today if you have any questions leave them below um if um i'm not sure angie what a kiss cut is maybe that's why i failed that whole thing but if if i get that again um i will definitely be able to teach y'all if i can figure it out so um if you guys do your um your bricks or whatever shiplap or whatever yes this is what i seal with i seal my glitter so it doesn't move around um with aquanet this is an old mardi gras trick that's been around for years in new orleans it's fine um some people will say it's not to each his own if you don't want to use this don't use this use something else that someone else has suggested to you this is what i personally use i personally don't have any problems with it so i just need to put that disclaimer out there because apparently I, I anger some people when i use aquanet ah. anyways um yes so if you have any other questions or um anything like that just let me know uh everything will be linked and when y'all make these, show me. I can't wait to see what you come up with. All right? All right. Thank you so much. Um, thanks for hanging out with me today. And Mr. Nola aggravating us. What would we do without him, right? This was only so, 2.5 seconds of aggravation. Right? I know. 2.5 seconds. seconds. That Look, was it. His hands talk just like mine. 